Hello, welcome back to Faster Than Fred Thursdays. Today, uh, still playing Faster Than Light, as you can probably tell. Again, we left an abandoned sector for another abandoned sector. And once again, we have a distress beacon immediately on our doorstep. So, of course, we're going to go to it. It appears your distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a, sig a single life form. Let's investigate. Uh, you find a colony. Uh... I'm going to take him home to his family. The survivor's family is a modest means, yet they managed to offer you a reward for your virtuous deed. The reason why I did that is because normally when you do that, the person turns out to be crazy and tries to kill you. Or damages your ship or damages your crew. So it, it's best to just get rid of them. A merchant ship is docked with a Latinus transporter. You, me your, you message them to see if they need any help. It turns out they have been studying Latinus abilities to reshape metal. Inquire about the process. <gasps> they respond. We haven't the foggiest idea how it works. They appear to melt parts of their bodies into the metal and reshape it. They have been willing to demonstrate their abilities. If you have any extra metal that you would like converting into something, Latinus crew. Your crew member offers to aid the process. Uh, to speed it along. Oh, it gets you discount, but I, I can't afford anything, sadly. I'd have gone for a weapon upgrade. I don't really want to explore up there. I will explore up there. Let's, let, let's do the thing. Oh, Fred got back to full health. That's great. You detect a refueling platform near a beacon. All of the broadcast signal is garbage. Is garbled. Communicate, Latinus ship. There is a screech from your comms. The same as last time, guys. Latinus. They got my shields. No. Okay. Well. Let's just uh, hammer on their shields for a bit to just uh, try and get rid of them. Because they've got level two shields. I think that should be enough for me to now focus on this. They're gonna get through that. Ah, they didn't get anything of relevance. And now my pilot and my engines aren't quite there yet, but my pilot is capped. So my evades 34%, that's very good. That I'm not worried about, that's what I'm worried about. So if I can just keep the shields off line, maybe I can get another dodge from this. No, no, because I just destroyed the weapons. Oh well, these Latinus are dead. Aiden might get healed back to full. What's he at the moment with the next jump? Yeah, he should heal at least four at the next jump. The ship explodes, leaving behind useful scrap. One fuel, one, en one drone, 23 scrap. Investigate, three extra fuel. Again, Latinus uninterested, and I take what, what I can. A lot of the same messages repeated over, but I, I don't mind too much. Next, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to undo that and power that when I get two more power. For that, I need 50 fuel to do that. Now, the sad thing is, because I'm not specifying, spe spe making anyone specialise in repair, no one's really going to get good at repair. I've got good engines, I've got good shields. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover what's there. I, I will explore. No interest. Continue. Well, at least I didn't just take random damage, which is often the case with those places. Just, oh, you take damage. A Federation science craft is docked with a, la with a few Latinus ships. You hail them and ask what's going on. Greetings. We've been attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Latinus. Although we're making little headway in deciphering their language. Latinus crew, copy of my translator's data suite. Your Latinus crew had tweaked the ship's translator to slowly improve itself over time. The data collected from your interactions with the Latinus could be very useful to these scientists. Uh, I get a life arm scanner. Great. So now I can just see, kind of like having a slug, a slug crew member on your ship. You can just sort of see red dots um, when they're on your ship. So I, I can sell that because I don't really need that. I can already see their ship. Um, I'm going to do this because the same thing as before with the Latinus metal. I asked about the translators last sector or earlier this sector, and it didn't go well. So I'm just going to take the fuel for the scrap right now. Upgrade that, and there was a store where I can sell my life form detector and maybe get another fuel, as long as it's worth at least uh 16. Is it? It's worth 20. I don't really need that. None of this I need. I do not want to start going into controlling drones. I do, however, want to start going into having a chain laser. Chain ion. 
Yeah. If I upgrade my weapons one more, I can have my Iron Stunner as well, which would be very useful for just disabling people. You have arrived at the beacon and notice a small rebel ship chasing Latin scavenge away from a, re a rebel battleship. As soon as the rebel notice you, they move into attack. The Latin ship returns to their prey like flies on garbage. Ah, uh, okay, this isn't going to... Um, oh, no. No, no. Oh, it's just the Ion. It's an Ion intruder. Not, not the big bad I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a real big bad. Ah, oh, no, I just need to keep firing then, it seems. No, no, not my pilot, no, zero evade. Oh, well, they can't get through my shields, they can't get through my shields. I am good, I just play the waiting game now. My chain ion's gonna charge up just over time. Everything's gonna be good. Till then, well, that's disabled, you can just go fight this guy. Just come on. Oh no. I don't really need to worry about my power because he's already capped skill. I just need to take this thing out. Next, I'm going to wait for him to do his burst thing first before I uh, go looking for him. No. Now I'm going to go and fight him. Now that there's time so I don't just immediately get stunned when I go into the room. I could have moved him out, but I didn't. Oh well. Uh, the enemy ship's going down quite nicely because they just can't get through my shields. I'm not actually taking any damage from this, I hope. Uh, but the iron intruder is a bit of a pain. Is my engines a cap? They are. Good. Let's just keep a hammer to these guys. We have one crew member left. He's got more than enough health. No. Why would I surrender when the, the shot to kill you is already on its way? Collection of useful scrap. I don't have enough time to deal with the Latinus, so you go fix that. And you can help us. Work. No, there's nowhere there now. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, get that back online. Fix it. Come on. Okay. Took a lot of damage from that and people keep beeping me. That needs to stop. Ah, oh, okay, I'm gonna go back to the, the job. How much is it? 50 and 21? 75 if I want to upgrade that. I think I will be upgrading that next. Another store. I'm gonna hit the other store. There's not much I can really sell here, but I might get they might have something useful for me. No drones. Don't need that. That's useful. Don't need that. I don't have anything to sell though, sadly. Uh, I want everything that I've got at the moment. Backup battery is fun. I do enjoy that. Uh, I don't really need anything and I don't think I need repairs too much, too drastically either. So I am just going to keep working for my Ion Stunners upgrade. Um, the distress signal from this system is coming from a slug vessel under attack by the Latinus. Lanius, not Latinus. I've been calling them Latinus. Since the very beginning of this thing, the Lanius, the slugs beg for assistance as the Lanius tear into their whole plating. Latinus is better. I'm calling them Latinus. Screw the rules, they're Latinus. Could we upgrade this and heal a bit more whenever they jump sectors? Mm, I guess I, I, do, I do want to do that. firing on there. Fire on there, just, you're just going to keep it disabled, that's what i got to do. Now if I just take out the shields, and they're all going to be dead. Yeah, these guys are down. Ah, good day, killing Lanius. I don't like the name Lanius, I prefer Latinus. The ship explodes and I get scrapped. Contact the slugs. Ah, the slugs reluctantly thank you for your help. 
uh, protest that they had the whole situation under control, attempt to make you pay for helping them, an hour later finally relent, relent and give you some supplies. They wanted me to pay for for helping them over oh, like, interfering. Nah, that isn't how this this flies, lucky boy. I'm going to hit here, here, then out. I'll hit here, there, then out. But at least I got uh, a good amount of things out. Scan show no signs of any ships or settlements. You have no way of knowing if there was any unin if they were uninhabited or it was simply erased by the Lanius. Eerie, creepy, creepy, eerie. Um, aided by modified translators, a nearby Lanius scavenger ship messages you says metal sufficient. Request exchange. It appears there are some Lanius with sociable in social interactions with other races. Lanius screw for a better trade. Yes. Now we get to the exit. Good sector. Some pretty tough fights. No, that was last sector. This sector's been pretty easy. FTL drive. Oh, okay. A small platform orbits this beacon. It looks like a refueling station of some sort, and it's and it is cheerfully broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Doc, the platform seems to be malfunctioning and could ignite. Quickly refuel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could have got uh, pretty badly hurt on that, but oh well. Mantis homeworld. I have an upgrade. If I go to the Mantis homeworld. I need to upgrade my doors, so that's where we're going. I guess we'll worry about that after I've read this. You've entered a poorly charted area of space known to be the home of the Mantid, ensuring your whole plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Okay. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on next time.